one video is going to show you how to make a multiple choice question in Flash CS6 um, using movie clips to control your right and wrong answers. Um, my last video showed you how to make them make a multiple choice question using um, Boolean values, true and false. So this one's probably a little easier for you guys, but I did want to just show both because it's up to you. So essentially I've created this multiple choice question, what makes what color is grass and you choose an answer and it takes you to correct feedback or incorrect feedback so if I click the right answer green that is correct it takes me to right feedback alright so how did I make this um, let's start out with the library because basically what I did to start this out is I went insert new symbol and what I did is I created three movie clips and a button let's take a look at them alright so I have three movie clips here I have a question, a right answer, a wrong answer, well, right correct feedback and incorrect feedback, and an invisible button. So here is what my question movie clip looked like. Simply just static text with a stop action. I could have made this a motion tween. I could have this doing something. I could have a video playing here. I could have anything. I just have static text to make it simple. Correct feedback. Again, simply just a movie clip with static text, stop action. Incorrect is the same thing. Static text, stop action. Then my button, an invisible button. Remember, that's just a button that's drawn on the hit area, so I just drew a square, and that's it. I, so the first thing I did is I created those four symbols. So I had it planned out what it was going to look like. Next thing I did is I placed everything on my timeline and let me show you how I did that alright so I knew that this was going to be three keyframes the first keyframe was going to be where I displayed my question second keyframe was going to be where I displayed my incorrect answer third keyframe was where I or my incorrect feedback and the third keyframe is where I was going to display my correct feedback and then if I was going to have another question, that would be keyframe four, and so on. Um, so this is how I decided to cr create it. I could have also created all of this in one movie clip, or I could have done it in a number of different ways. I'm just showing you this way for now. All right, so essentially what I've done um, is I have, first thing I did is I laid everything out. So I created five layers. The reason I did that is one layer for each thing. I have four uh, things in my library and an actions layer. So I have question layer, right feedback, wrong feedback, buttons, and actions. Alright, so what I did on keyframe one, I put my question and my invisible buttons. I just drug them out on the screen. Keyframe two, I simply put my incorrect feedback on the screen. In keyframe three, I simply put my or my correct feedback onto the screen. Now, I gave every single thing I put on the screen an instance name. So, like this correct feedback, if we go up into my properties, I called this right. You can see up here on the top right hand corner, I called it right. My incorrect, I called wrong. My question, I called question one, and each of my buttons I gave an instance name too. So I gave this one's called wrong button one, wrong button two, wrong button three, and the correct answer is called correct button. Now the rest of this movie is all done in my actions, so let's take a look. Well, first of all, for keyframe two and three, I simply have stop actions. That's it. So you can see here, keyframe two and three, Keyframe two, just a stop action. Keyframe three, just a stop action. If I wanted a button that said, you know, please click to continue once you're on the right answer or something, yeah, then I'd have more actions here. But for this example, I just had a stop. All right, all my main actions are happening right here in this first keyframe. Let me show you what's going on. First thing we start out with is the stop action. Um, we always have the stop action so that things aren't looping and so things are stopping. Otherwise, this would just play right through. All right. So, we have our correct answer and our incorrect answer, because basically what I'm controlling are these buttons down here. So, for my correct answer, 
very simply I created a function just like we have for every other button I call this function correct answer this links to the correct button which is green the instance name of green is correct button and then I call correct answer so when the correct answer button is pressed go to and play keyframe 3 keyframe 3 is this go to and play the correct feedback keyframe now let's take a look at our incorrect answer what have we done this is a little different because there's something new happening here first of all um, just like the last one we had function this one's called wrong answer go to and play keyframe 2 when wrong answer is pushed so keyframe 2 sorry that is incorrect blah 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 perfect alright now so we've created that wrong answer now for each button is separate each button has a separate instance name so I need to call this function wrong answer every time one of the buttons is pushed so I have wrong button 1 which is blue wrong button 2 which is orange wrong button 3 which is white so wrong button 1 I call wrong answer wrong button 2 I call wrong answer wrong button 3 I call wrong answer so see guys these are functions that we've talked about this semester and so you can call them as many times as you want to we just happen like in correct button we're only calling it one time but I could call this any time throughout my whole entire movie that I needed to I could call correct answer and it would do this it would go to and play three um, for this one we're calling wrong answer go to and play two but I'm calling it three different times because there's three different buttons make sense and that's it that's all you do to make this um, those are two ways that I've shown you how to make this movie between this and my last movie clip and I'll just test it uh, but there are other ways. I could put this whole entire clip into one movie clip, the whole entire question, and do it that way. All right, thank you very much.